What's up guys, so today I got another review for us and today we got the Badger Sotar 2022 F and we're going to go ahead and unbox it and open it and test it out and compare it to some other airbrushes but first let's open it up and see what it looks like. Alright guys, so first initial thoughts, concerns, um, for one, I don't know if if, uh, if I didn't get the right box or something, but there was no seal on this box, it's also just, there was no like plastic around the box or nothing, I don't know, it was just, the other one had a nice seal on it that I had to cut open to get to this, this one, no seal. It does look like it's a new one. Um, and it is a nice looking airbrush. It's heavy, heavy for its size. It feels, it feels kind of heavy. Um, we got this rubber plasticky cap here and then we have our airbrush. Now this airbrush does not have a fan cap or anything like that. So you, you guys already know I'm a fan of of this style because uh, this is how I airbrush anyway it has this plastic I thought this would have been like rubber but it, it feels like yeah it's it's hard plastic uh, this piece right here um does it improve the comfort oh Jesus really stiff oh my gosh is this is this locked in place or something there's no way that's that hard. Why is it stuck? Is it stuck? Oh yeah, it's, wow. That needle was like pushed into place very hard. Oof. I hope I didn't get a used one, man. Because that's rough. Um, anyway. Yeah, that feels a lot better. I hope the nozzle was not damaged. Oh, man, this is, why is this so tight? Hmm. It looks okay. Uh, the needle's still sticking way out. I don't know if it's supposed to stick out that far. Oh, that goes on rough. It just goes on really rough. Okay, we have a plastic cap. And uh, this paint cup is little. Okay, let's, let's just, let's talk about this paint cup right here. So here, I'll just get this airbrush here. This is your typical size cup on an airbrush. Right, this is the Badger Velocity. Right, look at this. This airbrush is also shorter compared to the velocity. Look, it's like some shorter. That cup is not only smaller in height, it's smaller in diameter too. So it's it's a little little cup, but at least it does have a lid. I didn't know it came with a lid, so I'm very pleasantly surprised to see it comes with some sort of lid. Um, but yeah. That needle was way in there, so we'll have to see how well it sprays. Hopefully it's not damaged, and yeah. I also hope it wasn't used because there was no seal on the package or anything, so. 
yeah, we're, we're going to test this out and I'll bring you guys my thoughts, impressions. Um, yeah. It also comes with, I believe, a, an adapter. So like a Badger to Iwata adapter, it looks like. And it comes with an Allen wrench, which is used, it looks like here, to loosen up this plastic piece if you want to take it off. So that does come off, it looks like. It's still kind of hard to push. We're going to have to test it out and see what it's like. Cool. So yeah, let's take it for a spin and I'll come back with my thoughts, guys. I was so excited to try this out, but... The cone is cracked. The nozzle is fried. That Okay, yeah. time for a rant. So, it arrived damaged. Um, so there's something we have to talk about here, and that is the packaging. Right? So, even just comparing Badger to Badger, there's something wrong with this box. My Velocity came with this nice seal. It says, thank you for your order. Right, I had to break that in order to open the box. There's a warning label, and there's a label you know, showing what airbrush is on there. The Sotar came with none of the, none, none of those labels. There's no seal, there's no label, there's no, nothing, you know, no UPC code. No. Right? Now, these boxes are smaller. This is the Master Airbrush box. So we line it up there at the edge. Maybe like an inch and a half. <coughs> <coughs> like an inch and a half shorter. Sorry about the cough. Um, you know, so an airbrush in this box fits sideways. Perfect. There's even extra space on the front and in the back, as you can see right there. I've seen this box for a lot of different airbrushes. This is a generic box that's available. I don't know where, but I'm sure some factory out there sells this box. I don't know where they got this box. This is also a generic box, but this is more generic than that box. Okay. This airbrush cost one fourth the price of this airbrush. One fourth the price. The packaging on this, okay, see, see the box has nice latches. Look, look at this foam in here. This is nice, hard foam. This airbrush, it doesn't move. Like, I am moving the whole table trying to move that airbrush. It does not move inside this foam. This, everything is nice and in there. All right, here, let's open this one. I have to use two of my hands, so. Okay, here, let's move this up again. This foam, this is the softest foam you could get. And actually, under here, there's an even softer layer. The underneath layer is softer than the top layer. It's the same foam that's up here. And this stuff is soft. Right? Then, you have the problem that this cutout is not for this airbrush. Right? So, this is two pieces of foam glued together. This airbrush can move in there, back and forth. Right? It can move in there, back and forth. And this is what happened. You see that end of the needle there? It probably moved back and forth, got shook up, and the back of the needle is actually hitting on the box right there. So there's a nice crack in the nozzle. <sighs> now it returns. I can't replace this item through Amazon. Right? There is no... I can't, like just get a replacement I have to file for a refund that would take way too long so I just went ahead bit the bullet ordered the nozzle there's no reason why this should show up damaged okay besides the paper and this this is all that came in here there's nothing else right 
over here for thirty dollars you get extra needle sets everything yeah it's it doesn't have the quality of this one right it doesn't have the, the gasket and all that but okay that's fine we'll, we'll move that aside if we compare it to an airbrush that's still this airbrush cost me $140 okay this airbrush cost me $109 that's including taxes now let's look at the package right off the bat this one has marketing and branding in it, and it looks nice and this is just the sleeve to the box the box itself has more graphics it had seal that I had to break two of them to open it you open the box let me, let me put this phone down real quick to see if I can so you open the box somebody tested it right proof somebody tested it airbrush guide included in the box yeah it's not very great but it's there multiple language too english and japanese whatever at least they tried again the same nice rigid foam now even this you see it has cutouts for different uh, airbrushes maybe even a set that comes with a, a bottle here but this foam keeps the airbrush packed in place again there's no risk of damaging the needle back here there's space here and this you see this right here holds the airbrush in place it doesn't move it stays when this lid goes on it pushes against the airbrush to make sure that the airbrush stays in its socket this is premium packaging i don't care that it's made out of cardboard right i care that the airbrush is in there nice and secured and that when i open it i feel like i spent the money right in the correct place right yeah right like this this is a nice packaging and when i put my airbrush away in this i don't have to worry if i shake it right the airbrush in this does not move that little shaking noise that's that little bottle that's in there but when I put the airbrush in there, it doesn't move. That moves a little bit. But again, this is one fourth of the price of this. These have the exact same packaging. They come from the same place. But yet, this one is missing stuff that the other one obviously has. How is this happening? Like, I don't understand. So that is my packaging rant. Okay, if you're gonna, please, if you're gonna sell me something that is premium cost, right? Please, for the love of God, make the packaging feel like it's worth the price. This, I mean, I like that it's a box. I like that it's hard and, and stuff, but it doesn't actually hold the airbrush very well. And, and I, I think they could do better. I think this, they, they need to ditch the 1970s box, right? This, this needs to go, even if you get something like this and you create your own inserts for it. And this airbrush needs its own separate mold for an insert. Because if you put that big old cup insert in there, that airbrush can move. So this airbrush, the Sotar, needs to have its own because it's smaller. It's a smaller airbrush, so it needs its own mold. There's no way to get around that. So, yeah, I'm annoyed. It showed up broken. No airbrush you ever order should show up broken. Like that, that's, that's not even a fault of the airbrush. That's not a fault of, of the manufacturing. That's just a fault of the shipping and the packing. This is bad. You could hear it moving around. So... I think for the price, we should make sure that the airbrushes come in some kind of nice packaging. I feel like it's it's worth it. It's worth it to know that your product will arrive to the customer 100%. And with that, hopefully when the parts arrive, I can get on with the review. For now, the review, you guys already seen the post.
I'll be back. All right, guys, so it's now a few days later. I got a new nozzle, which it's called a paint tip, even though it's a nozzle. Um, I've gone and replaced it. And look, no more bubbles. And it sprays quite well. I did order a new needle as well, but uh, after looking at the needle and trying to like, you know, trying to see if it was bent, it was actually quite okay. And I just slapped a new nozzle in there and we're back up and running. So we're going to, again, go back. We're going to give it a try on this paper here. I'm going to, I have this filled up about uh, maybe a little bit over half of the way with reducer. I'm going to drop one drop of black, uh, wicked jet black, you know, into here. This is 4011 reducer, and then we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. So.
see this airbrush is pretty amazing you could do lines that are finer than a pencil lighter nicer and quite honestly this is the velocity in this work amazing right uh, this atomizes paint a little bit better than the velocity it really likes over reduced paint if you get really fine lines it shades really good this box probably the worst box I've ever got an airbrush shipped in I come I said something about it in the velocity review I was like yo this is like a generic box right and I'll play the clip right here and uh, I'll say it again it, it's a pretty generic box um, I feel like for the price that you're paying um this is a nice airbrush don't get me wrong but i feel like for the price the whole premium you know it doesn't come with a hose it doesn't come with any kind of paint or getting started even the iwata revolution came with its own lube which you know this one is that snap to get it down it's like wow even this way, it's, it's, there's a little bit of a, you can feel the, the grind, I guess, of the metal. So it could use some lubing. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that, it's an amazing airbrush. I would recommend it to anybody. Um, but at the moment, I would be really careful about shipping. Um, because it is going to come in this box sideways. And even if it comes in a pouch or something... This needle is still exposed and now that I remember the velocity um, the needle doesn't come all the way out on the velocity uh, otherwise the velocity would have probably suffered the same tragic fate but fortunately I got it fixed you know we ordered a new nozzle we got it in there and it works great it works fine um, but unfortunately that puts the price of this airbrush closer to $150 um, you know after ordering that part again nobody Nobody sends me free airbrushes. These all cost me money, and I usually use the money that the channel makes to get airbrushes to review for the channel. Uh, so when something shows up damaged, um, damaged due to its own packaging or poor packaging, and the whole missing, like it looks like this didn't even go through no quality check or something. I don't know what's going on with this box, right? Like there was stuff missing, like the seals and everything are missing. I don't know but for the airbrush itself it's a nice airbrush um, we'll have to compare it to other airbrushes in its price range the small cup makes it really limited right so if you're painting bigger pictures or stuff stuff like that this small cup might get annoying but like I plan to use it mainly for like blacks you know so blacks or maybe some white highlights every now and then when we're working on black um, so yeah, so I, I probably won't run that much paint through it besides the black, and then we'll move on to the colors and use the bigger needles for that. Uh, but yeah, that packaging leaves a lot to be desired. This little plastic thing, um, it really does not make that much of a difference. I don't know, if, I'm probably gonna take it off, honestly. I just feel like it's, it's an extra piece there that doesn't need to be there. 
Um, and I really wish it was just molded into the, the actual frame of the airbrush um, because this edge right here, I can feel it on my finger right here, it rubs. So yeah. Anyway guys, hopefully you guys like that review. Out of this airbrush, the Velocity and all of them, this is the finest one. I would probably recommend getting the Revolution over this. Uh, it's going to atomize paint probably just as good. You probably won't get just as fine as lines. But when you get it, you're going to make sure it shows up in a nice package. It's going to show up to you undamaged. And it's just probably going to work all around better for a lot more other things. This is a really like particular airbrush. You have to be doing really fine detail art in small amounts for it to be really good. Um, again, I'm going to use it just mainly for the blacks while we're doing the, the artwork and then use other airbrushes for color and stuff. I really wish that packaging, this box was better, right? I really just, if this box was better, it would make the whole purchase uh, that much better. Um, even on the velocity, I feel like you know, even if it's made out of cardboard, I don't care. Like, I don't really need a permanent box to keep putting my airbrush back into, right? I have stands and stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's a nice thought. It's just, it's not very well executed. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like that review. Um, it's a nice airbrush. Don't get it wrong. It's just for the price. It's like, come on. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.